Welcome back everybody, my name is Mr. Sushi Panda and welcome back to Soccer Angels. I haven't recorded this in a hot minute and I've been wanting to get into this for a little while. I've been recording a lot of Doki Doki but I haven't really been doing anything else other than that. <laughs> Except editing the audio and uploading it. But enough of that, let's do this, yeah, woo, energy. Uh, somehow I just barely make it to class. It was a photo finish through the door right as the bell went, but I made it. Yeah, cause we fast as fuck, boy. Taking a moment to catch my breath, I dragged myself over to my desk, the teacher arriving almost seconds after I collapsed into the chair. Oh, I've had that happen to me several times. Several times. Uh, too close to call for comfort. <laughs> I am human. None of the other students seems too bothered by my late entrance, though at this point, maybe this is what they expect of me anyway. I have been pretty late at times, even missing the bell entirely some days, mostly due to sleeping in. At least this time I had an actual reason for cutting it so close. However, after what happened earlier, I think it's going to be impossible for me to focus on the lesson. I'm beginning to wonder, wonder if I'll ever get an explanation for whatever the heck that was that just happened. And if y'all didn't, uh, if y'all didn't know, I'll be this thing. Just regard anything you might have seen while watching over me. It's not. Just don't question anything I've done. Just think it's normal. What a normal boy does. I mean, man. Working out. Nothing else. Wasn't that exciting? And possibly ta creatures. Girls wielding magic weapons. No matter how I look at it, my brain refuses to accept it as reality. It goes against everything I know as a human. I scrub through my hair, a faint headache still ringing at the back of my head. But being lucky enough to have a seat situated by the window, I let my gaze wander out like the main protagonist in an anime. I wonder, and I think. Philosophy, donuts, coffee, my bed. Did I make it this way? Probably not, because I ran late. My <laughs> sorry, my eyes fixate and I stare into the clear blue sky. The teacher is doing her usual morning speech, no doubt, talking about the upcoming events for our school, but. His words are just a dull mumber, mumble, mumble, and my eyes are ears too, as everything becomes blurry, my mind miles away. Those girls know me by name, and no matter how far I delve back through my memories, it's clear I've never seen them in my life. At least I don't think I've seen them before. I think hard, maybe too hard to the point my eyes begin to strain. Nope. Nothing. I can't recall a single thing that might shed light on this. Def defeat defeated for now, I turn back into the classroom while still keeping my sight on the sky, the teacher's voice becoming clear once more. Blah 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 blah. Now, uh, I know it's a bit sudden, but as for today, we have two transfers to It's been a nice run on YouTube here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm I'm done with this. I'm done with this. It's the same old goddamn thing. I can't fucking bye. Damn it! I can't escape this damn room. Uh, I guess I have nothing else. I have nothing else to do but just continue recording YouTube videos forever. It's the same thing in anime. Once you get introduced a character, now I'll transfer students. What kind of bullshit is that? Arejana. We have two transfer students that will be joining our class. I wonder who? Transfer students. I wonder who? And at this time of the year, it's a bit late to be joining, don't you think? Even the teacher sounds confused as he announces them. And it's just, and not just one, but two. 
<laughs> Why do I get the feeling there's something off about that? I wonder who. Almost as if it's tied into what happened earlier. I wonder who. Ha. No. It couldn't be. I wonder who. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this the whole episode. Huh? Or this whole part. Just to let you know. I'd like you to all make them feel welcome as they transition in. What do... What did you say your names were? I am Sakaya. It's nice to meet you all. I hope we can all get along. That's such a transfer student thing to say. I bulb upright in my seat, my head snapping towards in the front of the classroom. That upbeat voice, is it really? I wonder who? Ah, oh, hey! Guess who it is? Sure enough, two girls I've never thought I'd see again, they're stood before me because anime! Game! Fuck yeah, reason! I do this to myself. Why do I do this? In my school, in my classroom, no less wearing school's official uniform. Don't. Nah, bad honestly. <laughs> The cheerful, the cheerful one, uh, Sayaka, bows politely to the class, finishing me, uh, flashing me a grin on her eyes, passing over me. What? What is this? The other girl is less uh, courteous, her arms crossed and her, and her brow frown. She doesn't look pleased to be here at all. Her gaze passes over me too, but rather than a smile, she gives me a nasty glare. Oof, she's a nice one. Is she blaming me for this? I'm pretty sure. I'll blame me. I blame myself for this anyways. It sure feels like it. The grumpy one beside me here is Ayakari. I, I know how to read names. Go on, say hi. Hey, don't! Sayaka gives her a polite, politeful push as she stumbles to the center of the classroom. Everyone's eyes upon her. Everyone's eyes upon her. She looks like she's at a loss for words. Her mouth opening and closing as her face gradually goes red. I, I guess she doesn't cope well under the spotlight. Oh, she blushy. She blushy. I am mine. Uh, I get the. I'm sorry. What was that? I get the. What? Nice to meet you. What? I hear voices. Help me! Help me! Voices. She trails off into a murmur before spinning on her heel and stomach her way back to Sayaka, and practically hiding behind her. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? I am so hurt. Just like, I'm so hurt. I get blushy really easily, and I don't care whether or not people like me. I will punch someone in the throat if I have to. Shimmers in the slight, uh, her eye stimmers in a sudden rage, her hands balled into a tight fist, practically shaking. I'm sure if she wasn't in the classroom full of people, things might have gotten violent here. <sighs> With their introductions over the teacher's uh, motions for them to take their seats. Wait a second. I only just realized where the only spare seats in the classroom are. Let me guess. One of them is right behind me with a window view too. And the other is to my right. So that means they'll be both sitting beside me. Question mark. Actually, that's pretty convenient. Wow, I wonder who set that up. Not like it's a game or an anime or whatever goddamn anime. <laughs> I can finally ask them just what the heck they are doing. Sayaka, with a spring in her stab, waltz towards the desk behind me. Alright, Hikari, 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 stomps her way over and takes the other seat. I lean out of my desk and try to catch their attention, but I am cut off short by my teacher. But I'm cut short by my teacher, who resumes whatever it is he was talking about before. Damn it! 
I don't want to get in trouble for talking during class. I'll have to wait until the break. That's two lessons away though, which is practically practically an eternity in school. Yeah, it is. I swung back around to the front of the my desk. I can't do anything right now, so I'll just pay attention to the teacher and jump off. Ah, no. How can I pay attention to anything when two magical girls are sitting near me? I want answers now. Drone my fingers against the desk as the teacher continues to drone on. I try to think of a way around this. It's better I don't speak during class, so... Dot dot dot. Ah! Of course, it's obvious! I dig into my school bag and pull out my notebook and pencil. I'll just pass on my note. Simple and silent, though. Does passing notes ever? <laughs> and well, the teacher will just read it and you'll just feel embarrassed. Not like it happened to me. Don't pass notes. It's a horrible idea. Even though it seems good, it's a horrible idea. That teacher is always going to see it. He's going to read it. And then you're going to look stupid. Stop it. Don't not shoot. It's a bit of an uh, immature means of communicating. I'll admit. But I'm desperate here. Just wait until break. I do. Then everybody could probably just go up to them and talk to them because they're new transfer students. Because that's what happens. I scribbled down my message. What are you guys doing here? I may as well get straight to the point. I tear the page out, almost ripping it in half in the process. Only one question left. Who do I give this note to? Um. Ooh. This is actually like a really uh, selfish choice here. Uh, I'll go to the next one. Uh, I feel like she'll she'll be better with uh, the information. Well, it's going to be harder to pass a note to someone directly behind me without looking too suspicious. I get the feeling Sayaka might actually want to respond. Kicking uh, kicking back in my chair, I lean backwards and slip the note onto her desk while keeping my eyes forward, as if. We were a good student, student who was actually paying attention to the lesson at hand. At least, think I managed to give her the note. After a minute or two of twirling my thumbs, I began to lose faith in my plan. Maybe this was oh, stumble, stumble. Something suddenly tapped my shoulder, and the same page I had torn out from the iPad before floating down to my desk. Success! We done it, boys. We done it. Written below my own hist uh, hasty scribble, I just barely eligible, just barely eligible message is one in, in the far near the handwriting and ex accomplished my by a smiling face. We're here to protect you, silly. <sighs> Gee, I thought I thought that might happen. Protect me. Right. I remember her saying something about them being my guardian angels and that they'd be keeping a close eye on me, but this is ridiculous. I scrambled down my reply, writing so fast that I had to cross out a word several times before I finally got it right. Okay, I get the part, but do you really need to do this to be this close? This close? How did you guys even manage to get enrolled? Did you forget how close you were to being chomped on this morning? We're not gonna let this happen again. And as for how we got in, well, let's just say we can be very persuasive. What? Man has many meanings. What? <laughs> I also, I'm guessing they're just going back and forth at this point. <laughs> Who actually writes eh, heh, heh? I do. <laughs> uh, whatever. At least she gave me an answer. Somewhat. And now, I, uh, now that I think about it, the teacher did look a little confused as he introduced them. Introduced them. I'm guessing they warm, they warm their way into here with whatever magic they have. It's a bit scary, actually. Magic. I use that word so casually. Am I just accepting its ex existence now? Maybe. 
I give them the evidence. It's a bit hard to do, but I'm still going to remain skeptical. The first lesson of the day goes on at the agonizing slow pace. I can't focus on a thing, no matter how hard I try. After what seems like an eternity, the bell finally rings, announcing the end of the lesson. There's still another lesson to go before break time, though, which makes it impossible to talk with the girls, especially since the next lesson is PE. Whether the boys and girls are separated. Ah, why is my life so complicated? Half <coughs> half ah, half flip, half flip. After resulting, uh, reluctantly getting back from uh, getting changed for PE, I s I'm soon in the schoolyard with the male half of our class, which, like the first lesson, I find it hard to pay attention to the PE teacher as he goes through our basic warm-up exercises. I follow the exercise just about with the same enthusiasm as a zombie. Yeah, one, two. Arm falls off. Great. <laughs> um, the rest of the lesson is sort of a blur, at least until some of the male students start to work. Look towards the track field where the girls are. They are staring in amazement, even some rubbing their eyes as if it couldn't be real. But still amazing. What are y'all guys are all looking at? I muscle into the crowd that's forward so I could actually get a good look at the field. No way! The girls are running on the track, which isn't an amazing thing in itself, but it's who's running on the track that makes it an unreal sight. Okay! <laughs> Question! Who would give the uh, school uniform that damn short? It's like I'm barely anything here! What the fuck? Sayaka is. B Blazing across the track practically in a blur as she leaves the others in the dust. She's li literally running circles around them. She doesn't look tired or exhausted. At all either, save for the breeze of sweat chirping up. And in fact, she was a big old smile, clearly enjoying it all. As if it wasn't obvious before, these girls are on a completely different level. I'm sure she's breaking several kinds of records right here. The other girls in the group helplessly tail behind her, their expressions ranging from sheer confused to envy. Some of the girls are, well, I guess, for now, the top of their class when it came to track 2, but she's making them look like snails in comparison. I couldn't imagine how they must feel being showed up by someone who hasn't even been here all day. I can hardly keep my eyes on her. She seems to get just uh, she seems to get just a little faster with each loop she makes around her track, around the track. It won't be long bef it won't be long now before she comes just one big blur and encircling the place. Is she even human? No, not at all. She is not even close to being human or human. I'm seriously beginning to doubt it here with the superhuman display. I think even the top athlete in the country couldn't compare to her. While Sayaka is hogging the spotlight here, there's someone missing in all of this. Her far grumpier counterpart, Hikari. If something shouldn't be, is, shouldn't she be neck and neck with Sayaka? I scanned the the one struggling behind but can't find her either. Just where? Behind even the other girls being left in Sayaka's dust, I see someone dragging their feet. A sore expression, a sour expression on their face. She, she's just walking, her arms folded like usual. I wonder if her arms are glued like that. Is she even trying? No, cause she doesn't care, which makes you cool. <laughs> she must really have not wanted to enroll here. It must have been Saya Sayaka Sayaka's ideas entirely. What are you all staring at? Come on. What are y'all staring at? Come on! Let's get back at back to it. Apparently all forgetting we had our own lesson added. The teacher calls us back to uh, really forcing 
uh, back to reality, forcing us all to reluctantly stop gawking at the girls. Oof. The rest of the pee goes without anything much of a note happening, and then finally, finally, the lunch break arrives. Woo! Time for lunch! Favorite class of the day. I spot the magic girls in the classroom and casually chatting away with some of the other students. Huh, I didn't think they'd be able to make friends already. Really? Damn? Who would have thought? Though, after Sayaka's little display earlier, she's probably the talk of the class. Oh, Kenta! Hi there! She gives me a wave and a cheerful smile, but I can hardly say I do do the same. Hi? Okay. Yeah, hi. Look, can we talk? Huh? Go for it! No, not here. I mean, can we talk somewhere private? Crap! That might come off too weird. I'm getting uh, I'm getting weird looks from everyone in the class. A few of them breaking into whispers and giggles. Even Sayaka is fading, uh, fingering surprise, fingering surprise, despite full well knowing what I mean. Oh my! It's a bit too sudden. I don't know what to say. <laughs> come on, stop this around. Help me out here. I've been dying to talk to you, both of you, since this morning. Oh god, I made it worse, didn't I? I somehow turned into the uh, I turned in, I turned this into looking like one of the most awkward confessions ever. Are you always this forward with girls you just met? She's giggled. No, shut up. She giggles along, going along with the continued painful. Painful stares from the class. Well, well, if she's going to be like this, I have no choice. This is going to make me look even worse in front of the class, but I need answers. I take the deep breath to steal myself. And then, what? Hey, what are you doing? I grab her by the wrist, pulling her along towards the classroom door, whether she likes it or not. Given what I witnessed before, I'm sure she could have me flat on the floor as she was surely opposite, opposed to this, I think. Is she messing around at this point though? I think she's just messing around at this point though. Looks like someone forgot to, uh, they forgot the character limit on this one. <laughs> and you too, come with me. Who <laughs> said you could touch me? With my free hand, I take hold of uh, Ikari's wrist. Yeah, Ikari's. No doubt, centering uh, myself in some sort of deviant with my class. Thankfully, they both uh, follow along without too much resistance. Ignoring the, br ignoring the brunt of uh, Ikari's verbal bruise, I continue on to do the doorway. To the doorway. I just had to find somewhere quiet where no one will hear us discuss the magic and monster business. The question is, oh, oh, hi, new person. And all the hesitant, uh, and all my hesitant hesitate to escape the classroom, the both girls in tow, I crash into someone who was already making their way through the door. And I am going to end this here. Hopefully y'all enjoy. Things are picking up a little bit. Still slow, but it's gonna be a while before they pick up like like a good while. Cause Doki Doki did the same thing which took like three hours to pick up. But it was fun nonetheless. Yeah, this is the like second episode. I can't wait. I'm gonna save it just in case. Yes. <laughs> Alright, thank you guys so much for watching and as always don't forget to go beyond plus ultra! Oh my god, going back into things, this is awesome, woo!